let's now move over to the political situation uh, in Iceland. Um, I'm sure most people remember that after the, the crisis and the bubble burst, uh, the, there was this huge, uh, huge uh, demonstrations and this uh, this casserole revolution yeah. here in Iceland, uh, in which the the government uh, the government fell, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a re-election, and uh, you got a new government with uh, the social uh, social democrats and uh, the left green mm -hmm. uh, party. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I've been um, since I came here. I've been reading uh, opinion polls, and and it seems uh, that the conservatives uh, who uh, were in, were in power before the crisis has regained some force. So uh, it could look like uh, that we're going back to the political situation that was before. Uh, if you look at uh, if you only look at that, mm -hmm. uh, but of course there's also recently been local elections. Where you had this uh, party of, uh, uh, well, translated, the best party, mm -hmm. uh, with a with a local comedian uh, in top, mm -hmm. where they got 35 percent in Reykjavik, and and this comedian uh, uh, Gnar, wasn't it? Jun Gnar, yes. uh, he became the mayor in Reykjavik. Right. Uh, so so to me, uh, this sort of uh, symbolizes that uh, the reason that uh, the parties in government. Uh, have now been losing support. It's not necessarily because the conservatives have gained new support. It's just basically that none of the politi uh, political parties now have much support. As you must see, this local elections as sort of a protest protest vote. Yes, it's uh, quite right. Um, the mainstream of politics, I think, now is in this sort of protest vote. Mm. Uh, people are very unhappy with. Uh, left government, mm -hmm. so-called, which we have, uh, which has proved very pro-capitalist, mm -hmm. and they are serving uh, well, the capitalists, with the IMF, and uh, if, even if we have had some resurgence of the independent party, they are very, very damaged, mm -hmm. and they are very marginalized, so there is some talk of the social democrats uh, taking up uh, a government with them, but I, I really don't see that happening because the opposition to that is really intense. But I think also now the the, the crisis, you know, the political, it's, I think it's very like dire, mm -hmm. and I don't think, I mean, I, 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 I used to say that absolutely no, you know, no party would go into government with the, the independence party because everything would go crazy, yeah. but I think now, I wouldn't necessarily, I think, I think everything, like now everything can happen. I think mm -hmm. there's, uh, because the, the so-called left-wing government has handled almost everything so badly, yes. that they really don't have, I don't think people see them anymore as having sort of the right to be yeah. in government, because I think it was the view before, people felt like now it's their chance. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the right-wingers have done so horribly that let's give the left-wingers a chance, yeah. but they, I think they've blown it, yeah. this, this yeah. sort of... Yeah, after, after the crisis, there was also uh, founded a, a new political party in Iceland, yeah. and I, I'm not talking about this, uh, the best party, no. uh, but a, a serious party who was supposed yeah. to be mm -hmm. in opposition to all these things that created the crisis, but it, it doesn't seem, if you look at the opinion polls and if you, you look at people now going to to this, uh, this satirical party, mm -hmm. It doesn't seem that they've managed to fill the role as a protest party. Well, that party they didn't uh, they didn't participate in the elections. Okay, the local here. elections. No. no, so I think uh, that they are they are actually doing. I yes. I, I like what they've been doing yeah. with the yeah. government. They are truly the opposition voice. Yeah. I mean, they truly they are trying to do what the 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 government promised to do, which is to. Um, provide a constant sort of flow of information about what's going on to the population. This was sort of one of the the, the main sort of demands yeah. during the casual revolution that yeah. we want to um, leave behind the the old days of sort of everything being done in secret and the population not really knowing what's going on. But the government, the left-wing government, has continued 
you know, yeah. with the past policy of just doing everything sort of in a veiled way. But the movement, Hreivinkin, they are very much trying to present the population with all the information that they are privy to, which is pretty amazing. I, I think that's the first, <laughs> you know. Yes, they are doing very well. There was a moment last year where, when it seemed that they had lost all influence, okay. but they have uh, worked very hard and they have regained some other influence. Yeah. But uh, uh, the main thing is, thing, I think, that uh, a lot of people became politically active in the social revolution yeah. uh, in, and around it, before it especially. especially. And the many of these uh, activists who are still very active, it's yeah. still a very active moment, they went into the movement, but many also are in the left green party, and they are in opposition there. And the left green party is very badly split between, between left and right. And uh, they they are also in the social democrats in France. So so and 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 the progressives. Yes. Even so, they the progressives they have tried been trying to renew themselves, and they have picked up some of the demands of the okay. social revolution. So the the uh, the movement is alive, and it's felt in many parties. Yeah. So it's uh, that there is a small 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 hope there also in mm -hmm. inside the political. Uh, Political parties. Uh, yes. yeah. I think if the voters continue to um, to show their interest actively mm. and continue to sort of uh, keep the debate mm. alive, then the politicians will just feel the pressure that they have to provide yeah. the yeah. information. Yeah. Because in such a small society as ours, when we have such a strong movement, activist movement, who is always on the streets, mm -hmm. it's always on the streets. It has a big influence. It's always followed on the news. So mm -hmm. it, it, we have seen that it, it, it can make some difference if we go out on the street. Mm -hmm. And so we do it. Mm -hmm. But I think that is, in any society, of course, uh, what we need to create a healthy political environment is that yeah. people outside the political yes. parties are active in yes. politics, in political yes. debate. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so that's very positive that you have managed to, to do that. Mm -hmm.